Now, after winning back-to-back college football playoffs in as many years, Justin Thompson Jr. seemed to be on top of the world. One of the best quarterbacks in the nation. Won two back-to-back titles with his dad. But there's another thing at South Alabama that Jr. was a part of that you guys might not have been privy to. Now, you see, he was a playmaker on the football field, but he was also a star on the baseball diamond as well. The power hitting outfielder slash pitcher carried the USA Jags to a Conference USA tournament championship, to a Super Regional Championship, and even a College World Series berth. Now you see Junior didn't throw the hardest, but he hit his spots, but he absolutely demolished the ball at the plate, hitting the ball to all fields, hitting for power, as well as hitting for average. The heart and soul of the team. And it's only fitting that a quarterback becomes another field general as a center fielder. He could do it all. Most people don't know that he was a better baseball player than football player. But one thing he didn't ever want to do was stop playing both sports. So right after that second national championship, he headed over to the baseball diamond and made his presence felt as his team you know, made a late season, made a late, made a late push towards the conference uh, to the College World Series. You see, they won a super regional. You know, he was up. He was a first team All American. Hit 416, 11 home runs, 54 RBIs, 56 runs scored, 45 stolen bases, 69 hits, 515 on base percentage. First team All Sun Belt, Conference Player of the Year, and he was also, you know, in the talks for the Offensive Player of the Year. Uh, the player of the year, just edged out by a couple of the guys. But now we have to see, will he be able to keep up dominance on both fields at the pro level? Welcome to the Dual Athlete Series. Carlos, you lived that in your baseball career. What's this world like? Oh, it's extremely exciting. You know that if you perform, you will get the call. We've got a developing story here. JP, what are you hearing? I'm checking the numbers. I'm talking to my sources and my scouts, and they're all telling me, hey, this could actually work. Most of us mere mortals, when we were that age, we were barely chewing gum and walking at the same time, let alone playing the hardest game there is. Let's see if he's tough enough mentally here to adapt. That's what good players do. That dream of getting the big leagues is now becoming reality with that one phone call. Continuing our MLB Draft Day 2 wrap-up coverage, back to the prospect that we mentioned before the break. There was some surprise, even some criticism of the front office over how early he went off the board. Jonathan Mayo, what do you think of this pick? Man, I I don't think any of us saw this one coming. This uh, definitely feels like a a reach to me. Uh, You know, I I had him more as a a day three kind of guy. Uh, There was a split camp. A lot of scouts disagreed whether he's better as a pitcher or better as a hitter. I'm guessing the the team felt that he's got potential on both sides of the ball, and and maybe that adds some value to him. But uh, this made me scratch my head a little bit for sure. All right, Jonathan Mayo, thanks. Uh, What about you, Jim Callis? Was this a head-scratcher or the reach of the draft, as some of the other analysts have suggested? Yeah, you know, I I talked to somebody with the team, and they look, they're they're excited to get this guy. This is a guy they really want. And the two points the club made to me were, one, you know, this whole debate, is he a hitter, is he a pitcher? You know, what are you going to do with him? There was a lot of confusion. This team isn't confused. This team feels like he's a, he's got very good potential as a hitter and as a pitcher. They may even try to play him both ways. And they also, they felt like there were a couple other teams that were starting to sniff around this guy. And, you know, this isn't the NFL or NBA draft where you can trade down to get a guy you want. If you want a guy, you have to take him because there, there's no trades. And, and they felt like if they didn't take him where they did, somebody else was going to get them. And they just absolutely did not want that to happen. Jim Callis, we appreciate the time. Thanks. Rolling along with the podcast and back on the prospect who's divided the scouting community, I am opposed to this belief that he went too high. I really think he could be a steal here. This is a guy who's got so much development left to do. He's got so much potential. 
and I think all the scouts who are down on him think, oh, he's not a finished product. We don't know what he is. That, to me, could be a good thing. He can hit. He can field. He can pitch. There is so much untapped potential so far for this guy. I'm excited to see what he becomes. And certainly as he gets started actually playing, actually being in games, we're going to be able to talk to some other folks who get a better read on him and see what they think. I'm excited for that. And frankly, I'm going to have my eye on him for a while. Now, although Junior's immediate baseball career was pretty much set in stone, his football life wasn't quite that. In many camps at OTAs, there were some bad, there were some good, then there were some bad, then there were some more bad, but there was some steady improvement. So much so that after a while, Junior began to make some big boy throws impressing everybody on the football field. He was able to put the ball in tight windows. He was able to look off his defenders. He was able to put his receivers in spots to be great, to make big time plays. He was beating two and three DBs at a time. And ultimately, he did what the coaches thought he would be able to do, even though they took him in such a late round. Ultimately, Junior would be named the starter headed into week one of the preseason. This is pretty much his job to lose. Only thing he has to do now is continue to do what he's been doing. And the job will be his. All right, boys, here we are getting ready for Junior's baseball debut. His pro debut, double A, batting third, playing in center field. Says he's a 55 overall, but if you guys are familiar with the ball player this year, we already know it's a little bit different than that. And... We're looking to, uh, for a good outing out here. See what he can do. Hopefully, we can hit some dingers. All right, boys. Here we are, Iron Horse Stadium, baby. Beautiful view, beautiful scenery. But we're here to we're here to get ugly, man. We're here to play. We're here to play well. We're here to do our thing. Let's go. All right, man. Junior's first pro A B hitting from the left side. Switch hitter trying to do his thing. Going up against Brian Howard here. Here we go, baby. Absolutely roped out in the right, and Junior has his first professional hit in his first professional AB. Let's go, baby. You love to see it. Let's go. All right, so even though Junior is really a speedster, you know what I mean, and, and on the football field and everything like that, I don't have a lot of things unlocked, or I don't have a lot of the, uh, you know, the um, archetypes unlocked, so I can't have his speed yet. But hopefully by the time we get to the majors, we will officially have all of our speed, and we'll be able to run around the bases and make crazy plays in the outfield. All right, go first looking at Junior in center. One on, two dead, full count. Like I said, we don't have the most speed yet. So we're going to see how it goes, man. But luckily for us, this ball is hit pretty pretty easily. Can of corn. We're going to get out of the inning. Let's go. All right, Junior first coming up for his second AB. One for one on the day. Let's get it. Ah, out in front of that one. Hey, here we go, Junior. Let's go, baby. Let's get it. Get you a pitch and drive it, kid. Let's go. Oh, that a boy out in the right field again. Hey, man. Consistency is all we care about. Another ball absolutely demolished out in right field. Another single, baby. Let's go. All right, ball hit out to center. Shallow. Junior in on it. Under it. Can of corn once again. Let's go. All right, AB number three for Junior. Two for two today. This time we got a runner on, man. We got a chance to, you know what I mean? Get into the RBI. That ball's left up. Oh, my goodness. Got to make them pay. Oh, we got to be able to sit back on those. There we go. That one smacked up the box. Like we said in the intro, in the, in, in the backstory, Junior hits the ball to all fields, bro. There's no, no, nowhere he won't hit the ball. He's going to hit it where it's pitched. I mean, look at that piece of hitting right back up the box. I got to change that one batting glove, though. It looks stupid. Ah, this time we're going to roll over on that pitch. And that's going to be our first That's going to be our first uh, out that we make of the, of the game here in the eighth inning. And that's going to do it, boys. Us, the Rough Riders, we're going to come out here and get a victory here at home on opening day. You love to see it. Junior and his squad came out and got the job done. No RBIs for Junior. Didn't score any runs, but he did come out here and go went three for four in his, uh, in his pro debut. And we win this game 2-1. We hear all the time from people around the game that double A is where you start to see the breaking balls that are really set apart from what you've seen before. That can be a big challenge for a young hitter. Absolutely. And I think, you know, when you, when you think back to, um, you know, some of the pitchers that I face, some of the guys that you face in the big leagues uh, for five, six, you know, 10 years, you're thinking, man, I saw him somewhere. Yeah, it was double A because when you <laughs> see most prospects of any organization, they pretty much go to double A just to get themselves over that hump and get ready for the league.
You had a breakout season at the double A level yourself. What was it about you that enabled you to have that kind of campaign? I, I was very confident. And I, I thought, you know, if the confidence could just stay with me consistently, which is very hard to do at any level of baseball because it's a, it's a game of failure, uh, I just try to be consistent every night, whether it was, you know, uh, defensively, offensively, um, you know, just bring something to the table. Go home with something where you felt good, and I didn't have to think about that game uh, when I went to sleep. All right, boys, here we are coming over to the football field where Junior will be making his NFL debut now. I thought about doing this and playing it, you know, within the seasons and some baseball and some and some football will overlap, but I figure why not do both in one in one in each episode because reality goes out the window when you're having fun and you're doing something like this. So, you know, how did Junior end up getting drafted by the Saints? Uh, you know, he's a first round pick in the, in the MLB draft, and the uh, and the Saints knew, you know, they wanted their guy at quarterback. They wanted to take a chance, but they knew in order for it to make sense, they had to pick. They 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 had to take him. You know what I mean? Since he was drafted by Texas, that's why a lot of teams didn't want to didn't want to draft him because they knew how serious he was about playing baseball at the next level. And the Saints were really that only team that wanted to give him that dual athlete, that dual pro opportunity. All right, boys, we know it's just preseason, but we're expecting big things out of Junior. It's his first time seeing an NFL defense, man, other than his teammates. And we're going to keep it simple, handing the ball off to Malik Kamara. He breaks the tackle, finally brought down by Aaron Donald, though. Once Aaron Donald gets his mitts on you, you're probably not getting loose. Face it, Jalen Ramsey, don't forget, here's second and seven. Boom, going to keep it simple. Little dump off to, uh, to 11. Not really sure who number 11 is. My apologies. But we complete our first pro pass. Take a look at the draft class here. Junior was drafted all the way in the sixth round like we already knew. But he fought his way up to this starting spot. And here he is looking good. All right, third, third and two here. Let's see if we can pick up this first. Tough pass. Tight window to Michael Thomas. First down and a little bit more. Keep them chains moving, baby. Let's go. All right, here we go. Second and, second and, second and nine here, boys. Oh, Junior. Nowhere to go, but I I I applaud him for not forcing the ball somewhere like he's done in college a few times. He took the sack there. Yes, it's bad, but it's Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald is in the zone just like that. Here we go. We know Junior can't get up out the pocket, though. He's got a man. It is double coverage, and it's picked off. Junior tried to make a play. Pressure came in from Aaron Donald, and Jalen Ramsey makes the pick. Ah. That's a tough. That's a tough dude to uh, you know what I mean take the shot on. But it's Mike Thomas, bro. And but Junior ultimately just overthrew his guy. All right, guys. So the Saint. I mean, excuse me. The Rams go down to get three. Shout out to our defense. Let's try to run away from Aaron Donald. We do just that. Malik Kamara picking up five, four actually. Let's go. All right, empty backfield set here for Junior. Second and six. Let's out of the pocket. But this is one thing he does well. That's use his legs. Get out of bounds, baby. Let's go. You better account for Junior when he drops back or else he's going to burn you like that every single time. Junior does have that trust skill activated. You know what I mean? So if we get five more rushes for one, one plus yard with good money. Oh, no. You got to lead him there, Junior. Let's go. I seen him dropping back. All right, second and ten there after the near interception. Another handoff. Aaron Donald getting another great push up front. Little drop off to Malik. Let him do the work with his legs. And does he get the first down? I think he does. Fourth and inches. We got to go for it, Coach. Come on, Sean. All right, guys. So that last drive that you saw was our last play of the game. So Junior didn't was unable to put points on the board. We end up losing this game in OT by six. But even though Junior didn't score and the offense didn't get going like that, I still think we've seen some good things out here from him. So Junior ended up going three for five, 32 yards, no touchdowns, the one pick, 60% completion percentage, though. You know, I mean, QBR is going to be a little low, but it is what it is. Trying some things out, uh, you know, on the ground. Murray led us there. Receiving-wise, you know, none of our guys really went crazy. Mike Thomas had a catch. Alec, uh, Alvin Kamara had a catch. Um, not, not a lot you're going to see. The big game is going to be the dress rehearsal game for sure. But um, I'm liking, uh, you know, I think Junior is going to be okay in this league. All right, guys, so that is going to be episode one of the dual athlete career mode. 
hopefully you guys enjoyed it man if you guys want to see more make sure you stomp and smash that like button one of the video ideas i've been working on that i you know that i that i that i've been waiting to put out for you guys hopefully you enjoy i mean if not you know we'll move on to something else i have quite a few ideas but i think this is something that could be fun you guys are going to help me make decisions and you know what i mean and, and decide certain things that we're going to do i'm going to make this interactive for everybody and uh Hopefully we can uh, make this a pretty long series, man. Carried it into Madden 21 and things like that. So if you enjoy, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you are new. It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject, ArcadeGames.com. I'm out of here. Peace. Really trapped, so I had money way before the deal. Always Gucci down, they wonder how I could afford it still. Man, no out in bucks, he got a hell, he waiting on a bill. Stack it to the max, I really stacked away a quarter mil. Clumsy with them traps, I'm running down. If you leave them near, when they got a plug, they come.